talk about the rest of the speakers. Come on up here. So um, I'm going to pass the microphone. People are going to just introduce themselves briefly. And uh, by the way, yeah, well, you're here. You're not speaking. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Um, so we're going to be broadcasting live. This event will be broadcast live on the internet at 140hop.com. Uh, there'll be a URL. You can watch the live stream. Tonight, by the way, we're giving away five tickets to the conference. We have uh, two VIP tickets and uh, three regular tickets to give away. Uh, we also, by the way, have Porter Airlines as a sponsor. Uh, who, who worked on that sponsorship? Uh, the two of you. Thank you. Uh, so you get a 30% off on the ticket. And we also have discounted staying in uh, New York City for $140 a night. But first, let me just pass the microphone to all the speakers. Just introduce yourself and maybe like you know, a sentence about what you're going to be talking about. Um, hi, my name is Wes Brinker, Michael. He's a 13 year old. Uh, my goal is to build a playground in every single northern community with that one. And I'm going to be talking about changing the world and uh, all the ways that you can do it. By the way, I'm tweeting about this. <laughs> it's hard to fall. <laughs> Um, my name is Amber Sertash. I'm going to be talking about building uh, effective relationships online and more importantly offline. And the 140 conference is definitely about relationship building, so I'm really excited. Hi, I'm Jody Steinhauer, and we've got a movement in Canada that's starting called Give Back Where You Live. And in the next 20 years, the employers are going to be financing all of their employees to give back their business acumen to the communities and make our country stronger, bolder, and relying zero on government funding. Oh. <laughs> My name is Kendra. He did the art. He kicked right to do the art of the conference. <laughs> I, I did the um, artwork that was at the conference uh, last year. And this year. <laughs> and also the one that uh, will be displayed this year. Also. Um, so basically what I do is I use them. Um, graffiti murals to kind of bring awareness to certain uh, issues. And we also use it as a community building tool where we, um, we go in, we paint murals and kind of uh, transform the area that we painted in. And right now we're also teaching workshops to kids in schools and community centers. I'm Jody. I just got out of the pool. Um, I'm going to be speaking um, about how my life was saved by meeting people on social media from depression, from homelessness, and how I've decided to live my life completely transparently online. I'm Julia Rossi, and I'm one of the founding organizers along with the people for the first 140 conference in Ontario, so I'm on a panel for that. And I'm also going to be speaking about everything I know about social media I learned in prison. I was not a prisoner, I was a teacher. <laughs> Just want to make that clear. <laughs> I'm Teresa Albert, and I'm going to be speaking with a panel, thank you, uh, with a panel about women supporting women in business and trying to change that perception that we um, claw each other's eyes out. <laughs> Um, my name is Laura Berg, and I am electric! <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. Um, I have one of the top 40 most viewed YouTube channels in Canada. I just hit 18 million views last week. So you can imagine the people I've been able to connect with as a result of posting videos on YouTube. So I'm going to share some of the stories of those people that I've been able to touch. Anyone else who's speaking want to say something about what they're talking about? Uh, Tracy, come on. social connecting and <laughs> how every character counts in making connections in the digital world. Right. Woo! Now Scott, get over here. Someone hold Scott's camera, please. <laughs> Greg, hold Scott, please. Guys, give a lot, one welcome to Scott Mills, please. Give it up for this guy. So first of all, congratulations to a new addition to your family. Uh, thanks. Um, 
I just want to uh, thank everybody for coming tonight and thank uh, Craig Silva and Rosanna Wyatt for organizing. And our hosts uh, here at the Cadillac Lounge, Sammy, um, thank you very much for, for your space. I think it's amazing. I just uh, want to reiterate that to get people to go to Toronto for June 19th and 20th, um, I'm a police officer here in Toronto and going and going to New York on June 19th and 20th from Toronto as a police officer here in Toronto, the outlook and perspective that I gained there changed my life, which is in turn helping to change other people's lives. And the real-time internet is, is accomplishing that. And I just want to tell you one story here, if I can. Can you come up, Rail? Come on. Here. Come on. Sammy, by the way, Sammy, come on up here for one second as well. Sammy right here is our host. Sammy is the owner of the Cadillac Clown. Um, Riel LeClaire, uh, when I drop him off when we go home tonight, it'll be at his home underneath the bridge. That's his home. <laughs> and uh, through the effect of the real-time internet um, and connections from Jeff Pulver on the 140 conference led by Mark Horvath, who's known as Hardly Normal on Twitter, we were able to hook up uh, Riel uh, after a very bad experience that he and I had as a police officer and a person living on the street uh, with a street nurse who's standing right here, her name's Anne-Marie Batten. Yeah. And we started tweeting about it, a street nurse and a cop. And we were talking with Riel, having a relationship with him, meeting him for coffees and getting his story out. And I'm happy to tell you that he's just uh, received some funding so that he can have a home. As we're talking about. And he put on his name tag tonight, Riel, he doesn't have a Twitter account. But he has a hashtag, and his hashtag, which he decided himself, was Homeless Joe. And so I changed his name tag to say Riel, Homeless Joe, with a hashtag because he wrote it real, homeless girl without a hashtag, and on the bottom I put our friend. Yeah. And that is an example of the type of connections with people that you will get if you take up the the offer to get a 30% discount on Porter Air, June 19th and 20th, to go from Toronto to New York and take up Jeff's gracious offer to stay at the Four Point Sheridan for $140 a night. I really think it's worth it, and that's why we're here tonight. And I'd just like to turn the, the mic over quickly to Riel because I want you to hear what I hear and what Anne Marie hears firsthand here tonight. And uh, thank you, Riel, for being here and being a friend. Thank you, Scott. This is kind of weird for me. <laughs> thank you, Scott, and thank you for our host here, and to all the people. To all the people, thank you everybody for the help and uh, the respect that I, I needed to come back in life. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so um, is that two of you who help draw names? All right, so we have a drawing here right now. For, oh, yeah, yeah, you guys do it. So the, fir the first three will be for uh, uh, tickets and the last two will be VIP. It's pick one. I no, not mine. All right, who's here? I can't read it. Can you read it? Oh, it's a bad note. It's uh, one one eight two four. Actually, I'll just read the last one. Zero seven five three. What are they looking for? The ticket number? Oh, it's in nobody's name. There's no numbers. Oh, great, fine. You know what? We'll have to email people. Don't know it? It's like bingo. Uh, the next one is... Sorry. That's 0753. Anyone have it? 0753? 0753. What's the number? Yeah, some other people have to do it. Oh, so what am I going to do? Should we, should we take another one, or they don't even know what the numbers are? What should we do? There's the effect of the real-time web right there. Valued people. I have them. I have them. 
Talking with Jeff Tolver. The state announced 140 Come June 19th from 20th in New York City. We got a deal for air flights and hotels. Check out 140.com. Alright, so, uh, 140.com. Alright, see you guys.